Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about the document object model. So it is a way or a model in which an HTML document is structured. So whenever we have an HTML document like this, the browser creates a representation of the HTML document and it is called the DOM. So in this image, we can see that uh, on the left side, we have our HTML document and on the right side, we have the document object model. So here we can see that every element is laid out in a tree structure. Here we have the document and in that we have the HTML and the HTML has two nodes. So they are head and body and then we have title and the DOM intro and everything. So here we can see how the document object model is structured. So it is a programming interface which you can use to access, manipulate or add or remove elements using JavaScript. So one more thing is that pretty much everything in the DOM is an object. So we have seen that uh, document is an object. So we can do something like this in our main JS document dot and if I say title and if I include this in a console dot log We can see that we get the result as the title of our document. So if we go over here, we can see our title is DOM and introduction. So we get that. So in the same way, we can access many different things using uh, the document object. Here, if I will type URL, we get uh, the URL of our page. So now we are on the local host. So we are getting this URL and uh, then we can for example type links and it will display every link that we have in our web page so right now there are no links so let us just create some links so we'll create another link so now we have two links so now if I save this page we can see we get two different uh, links so this is the first link this is the second link so in this way we can access the links on our document then we have other things like bg color so right now we don't have any value we can also change the bg color using the document object so if you type document dot bg color equals red now if i go to our web page we can see that we have this red BG color. So this is why a document object model is used. So using that we can access, modify and even create and delete uh, different elements in our HTML document. So in the next video we will learn about some different ways of accessing the HTML elements. So if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.